Today is an amazing day to be an Order 66 mercenary because I am showcasing three major fights that occurred during this massive push from HRN and Dora during this crazy uptime and honestly showcase some great fighting from our side. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's footage and war gameplay for Call of Dragons. Hello, yes, smash like, comment, and subscribe for more daily videos of me, Mr. Sneak, and we're here, obviously, with Call of Dragons, the one and only that we're known for, and basically, we're playing this insane war right now, and what's happening is pretty simple, we have our main alliance fighting on two different sides, right, because if we just pause this footage right now, bring the live, you know, the nice live draw feature in, what you're going to be able to see is this little mountain, right? And you can see it's creating a division in the terrain. And what's happening is the HRN and the Dora boys are basically trying to destroy this flag, as you can see. But more importantly, they have to choose to push either into us or they need to push up into FS. Because basically during this time, which is a bit crazy for once, fs was mainly on this top side and they're obviously in their voice comms like normal but when i logged in which was quite strange while we was you know fighting i could see a bunch of order 66 mercenaries in their own voice call and me being one of the mercs thought you know what i'm going to join and listen to what their voice comms were comparatively to the fs ones right so on this side here on this massive wall is actually order 66 members mainly you do have a couple of fs players here i'm not going to discredit any of the fs guys here because this was an amazing push on both sides right however the bulk of the people on the vc are in this murder ball and you're going to be able to see from just a small amount of people but really good communication the focus fire and we focus fire and held down this left front so well and it causes Dora as you can see a major issue because they're trying to destroy this flag right and because they're trying to destroy this flag here and if we zoom a little bit out so you can see the battlefield it's causing issues because you've got the order 66 basically pushing in and defending onto this keep and onto this flag right and at the same time now you can see all of the fs crew all punching in so at the same time you've got this one murder ball getting hit from two fronts so they do need to make a decision do we go here or do we go here right and in this first fight i will say you don't see them making a decision right but that's kind of the beauty of when we go over all of this footage that i've got because you're going to see in the next one they do choose a decision they go through with a different plan and i like to see it right and it's really good to see a w in the offensive right because these guys are the attackers they're trying to attack in to take control of the dragon pit before the end of the season rewards happen right so we're doing all that we can to defend it as our alliance here so here's the big push now we've got some of our troops here and if you're wondering at this time i do have long range talent and i've been using a long range talent and i'm going to make a whole video on it I'm not gonna lie, I think it is insane. I love it. I'm not gonna lie, I used all season Arcane Torrent, but as soon as I've switched to this new um, long range talent, it's allowed me to actually bring in my archers and you need the long range talent if you're a T4 player, honestly, to use your archers. If you're an archer main and you don't have this and you're using medium range, I am gonna tell you right now, you are gonna get shredded. And it's not worth it. So you need this, especially if you're a T4 player. If you're a T5, it might be a little bit different depending on what you want to run, right? So it's very, very, very good. And you can see me using it so much here. And at the moment, I was trying out, if you're looking, a Canara. And I believe I see the Syndrome or a Craig. Because I'm not going to lie, Craig is MVP right now. And a lot of people have been sleeping on this archer hero, especially in these type of scenarios. Because you can see right now, I'm running four murder balls on this top side. And with the live draw feature, you can see our line now, right? And we're holding this line. And yes, I'm a little bit aggressive at times. But I don't mind, you know, pulling out players out of the pinch to allow my team to obviously get in there. And you can see them replace me straight away I come straight back in now and we're carrying on, right? And you're going to see us now 
clump this and just surround all of that murder ball. And by surrounding it, they're just going to get melted and pushed back, right? So really good defensive push here. And like I said, this is a massive props. Big shout out to all of the Order 66, especially the officers that were doing all the voice comms during this because we were all listening in. And especially I can imagine on the FS side here, on the top side, they had equally as many voice comms in, probably more than we did. So again, big shout out to all of the officers doing all the war calls during this bit. It was obviously amazing because without that coordination, it was going to be quite scary to see all of these active T5 all pushing in. So let's go into the next footage. The next footage is going to be another push in the same area because this is the main war zone that was trying to finish it out for the final part of the season. And here we go. We've basically now going into the big, big push of HRN and you can see a lot more coordination from there. And this is what I really like from the, the, our enemy, right? It's not just an enemy that's doing the same thing every single time. They are implementing new strategies, right? So this time, as you can see, they applied two infantry rallies, right? A Goresh Schoolgirl rally. And you can also see, which we pause right now, a very interesting move, right? Because if we pause the video, you can see, obviously, the Order 66 line, very, very strong line here. But the HRN people, if you pay attention, are moving around to this right side. They're purposely trying to make sure their murder ball is positioned more, as you can imagine, into this area. And by doing that, it's actually causing us, Order 66, a big issue because you can see a Goresh rally here, right, from our main man, Keto. Big shout out to him because his infantry is a monster. But by doing this, what they've allowed basically this rally is just going to walk past most of the time. It's going to get right into this area and it's not really going to do too much to the enemy's murder ball, which is very, very good for them because obviously they can carry on pushing with their main troops. So if we unpause the footage, you can see this now, right? You can see all of your troops moving into that side, which is great, right? We can see them adopting a different play style. They're doing something different, which is again, really good from the attacking point of view, right? And like I say, on this channel, I don't care if you're my enemy or you're at my ally, right? I give as much impartial, neutral props to it. But <laughs> this is where you're going to see some absolute filthy gameplay on the Order 66 side because we are literally melting anyone one by one, whoever is targeted in. And you can see this murder ball doing a very good job as well of kiting, right? So when you're looking at this murder ball as well, we're positioned here. And when troops are coming, you're going to see us move back. We're always moving back and moving back and working together until these guys are in such a bad position that the keeps attacking them, right? You've got all of our troops attacking them. And even though they're looking like they're gaining that advantage, and yeah, it looks like it, it's just because we're kiting back. It's a very advanced PvP mechanic here. And you're going to see us all the time actually win this fight because obviously our troops now have spread it out we're in a really deep position so now we can easily swing back and look how quick we return fire right we're going straight in we're not even holding back we're just pulling the trigger and killing every single person that's out of position right now and same with the top side so you can see this double pinch we're able to create with just such a small amount of members but look how punishing it is. You think they're able to do this, but they're not. Because on the HR side and the Dora side, you can see their plan is fully in you know, focus right now. They're holding this to make us so we can't participate. And all of their murder ball is in this massive bubble trying to push forward into this FS side, right? But they haven't got enough troops on the left flank. And that is the big thing. They haven't got enough troops holding this left flank and you're going to see why because all the time we are going to be poking in and we are going to be pushing these guys to the point where we're punishing so many players that the fs crew is slowly pushing their way in and as you're going to see just like before 
over time we're going to slowly choke out the opponents we're going to win on that war of attrition and you're going to see us just choke them out and it's going to be a small and you know slow process but if you do it correctly as a defensive player you should normally win right and we see this on multiple servers right not just my server big shout out to like the guys in the eis and bxs able to defend similar choke points on their server against the tfs crew right and you've got this on other servers too going on so it's not just one server that's exclusive to this play style it's happening multiple servers right so really good fight in here you've got the choke now coming into view you can see me doing the dot mode dot mode is the pro mode if you've not, not watched my video yet but here we go right fs now coming into the picture slowly coming into the little choke point we can draw the lines now for them and you can see our line really nice and deep right and our troops are healthy it sounds crazy i've been fighting for so long right now this is footage being sped up just for you guys right and you can see look i'm able to push through for this entirety of the fight we're not going back because we're in orange we're gonna go back potentially when we're in the red zone but until then we're fighting through and look i am going ham i don't care if i'm a t4 player i kind of play as if i'm a t5 player i'm a bit cocky at times but it's kind of what you do when you get your name you normally get targeted all the time as a content creator i think some of the players like meow and hulkstone and then will all feel that pain if they watch this video right but here we go we're pushing through final bit of this fight now you can see it all finally coming into tuition here's the chokes very very small now space for the dora crew and the hrn crew right so they need to either think do we need to continue fighting or are we going to eventually back up and run right so it's all up to them on this and you can see we're going to zoom and do the fast forward replay of this beautiful fight you see is always still pushing through they're holding as long as they can in here but as time goes on you can see this just the troops, right? A lot more tighter. It's a lot more compact on that Dora side, which isn't good at all, right? Because it means they're losing space. They are losing troops. They're losing that momentum. And over time, you're going to see again from this final rally from Keto being perfectly placed again because all of his murder ball plus builders are all caught up into it we're able to push them back and it's just as easy as that and this is what happened constantly guys to this whole war and this basically went on for around eight to nine times probably even ten times to the point where it was just going crazy and honestly the footage does look the same so i don't want to keep repeating it but if we come into the main game this is what it looks like right we are here and this is the choke point that the all of the fighting has been going on and as you can see from front finally fighting them off and defending for so many weeks on end constantly we've been able to defend and hold off and get the uh, the dragon right so we've been able to secure the end of season rewards for fs meaning obviously We've been able to win the season and obviously give everyone those final rewards for the next future, right? So if you're wondering what's going on right now, though, basically a lot of the HN guys and I believe another alliance down here and obviously not fine anymore. We've got peace talks, hence why you can see all of this territory now dead, which is cool. We're still fighting the Dora people, which is nice to see, and KPT, which is all the way up here, right? But you can see... If it's not really much happening right you know we're just we're just there right we're just fighting through so that's pretty much it that's it that is the whole video i hope you guys enjoyed it i am going to do a full account review as well to showcase you guys my end of season kill points and then everything like that as well as my end of season heroes and where i'm at in the text i know you guys are very interested in that and another video announcement just for you guys who have watched all the way to the end I am doing the best investments tier list. It's coming out soon. I know some people were asking for it and I saw a recent comment about it too, asking why have I not done a recent investment guide. It is coming. I've just been waiting for when we know these next heroes are coming out. So with all of that, smash a like, comment and subscribe guys. My name is Mr. Sneaky, you know the one and only. And until then, stay safe guys, stay sneaky and peace out.